Hey everyone, Vizerlo here. So I am a day late and a dollar short to this topic because I'm sure if you are in the whole gaming news space, you are probably already aware of this. But I feel like I should talk about this still, even though better late than never, I guess. But if you don't know what's happening with retro games right now, I'm just gonna have a qu quick summary before I get into my opinions. So on, in late July, Nintendo of America filed a lawsuit against two ROM distributing websites. And they filed it over, well, obviously, the fact that they think that these websites are stealing their intellectual properties and distributing them illegally. Nintendo said that these sites are, as quote, built almost entirely on the brazen and mass scale infringement of Nintendo's intellectual property rights. The lawsuit asked for $150,000 for each ROM that was hosted on their website, and an additional $2 million for infringing on their trademarks. Which, that, considering how many ROMs are on a lot of ROM distributing websites, that's going to be upwards of like 4 to $5 million. Probably maybe even over that. That is a lot of money. And because of this lawsuit, other ROM distributing websites have decided to take cover and get into their own bunker. And one of those websites is EMU Paradise, which was founded in 2000. And supposedly, they are taking steps to make sure that they don't get involved in this. Although you can still download Nintendo ROMs on their website, I'm betting that they are probably being as careful as they can to make sure they don't step on Nintendo's toes now. So I am kind of conflicted on this because each ROM sharing website has probably two different goals in mind. One of those goals that I think Emu Paradise falls under is making sure that people who maybe used to own an NES, used to own an SNES, and just don't can't afford or can't doesn't want to get one of those consoles again, can play through their childhood again through their computer. I think that's one of the goals that a lot of websites are trying to hit. Another goal, of course, is just money. Some goals are some websites probably are just trying to monetize as much as they can out of their ROMs, and I think that in the end, all websites want to make money in this case. But I think some of them are trying to be, I guess, tr some are doing it better than others. At least some are making their PR look significantly better. And I think that the websites that are just trying to distribute those ROMs so that people can, who maybe like before, because Nintendo, like, they're not, they're not going to really make too much more. Like, if, if the website shut down that distributed ROMs, would they make more money? Yeah, maybe a little, but it wouldn't be drastic. It wouldn't, like be enough to make sense for the trade-off of have not having ROMs on your PC so that you can revisit those games. Of course, the websites that are just do it, trying to do it to monetize the hell as, as much as they can out of ROMs, then yeah, okay. But for the websites that are actually genuinely just doing it from a good place, which most, they're probably just trying, a lot of websites are probably just trying to make it seem like that. I don't know um, which ones are telling the truth or not. But still, I feel like that shutting down a lot of these websites is not that great of an idea. It doesn't make Nintendo look good, and considering how long ROMs have been on the internet for, I don't think that Nintendo's intellectual properties are in anywhere near getting damaged from ROMs. Even if Nintendo does shut down majority of, like, right now in Nintendo's eyes, their best case scenario would be that they shut down majority of the ROM sharing websites, ROMs are still going to exist, they're going to be a thing forever, and I'm like 100% sure that Nintendo is never going to be able to get rid of them just because now that the internet exists. However, I do think that some websites that are, I guess, really pushing it and really trying to monitor, like, if there's any websites, because I, I know that these exist, if there's websites that are like charging you to get ROMs, then, okay, I can understand that, but for websites that are distributing it for free, and like older games, like Virtual Boy games, NES games, maybe even SNES games, and I know that some websites even go all the way up to GameCube, but I, st I still think that their intentions major most of the time are noble, and I think that Nintendo should hopefully, 
they understand that. But of course, those are just my opinions. And if you have your own thoughts, please let me know them in the comments. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you want to check out my social medias, I'll have them linked in the description. And if you want to check out the article this is based on, all that linked in the description too. And again, I hope you did enjoy this video. And see you.